So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another DAX Fridays, a new DAX function every Friday. In today's DAX Fridays, I am going to show you a DAX measure that will allow you to display only the, la the last label on a line chart. -ish. I'll show you, I'll show you. Let's get started. Okay, guys, here's the thing. I have here my line chart. You'll see in a second why it's a line chart. And I am filtering by stuff, and it's only telling us the last label of the chart. The reason why this is useful is in case you want to know just the real number of how things are going today or in a specific time period. And then you want to know more or less like up and down, right? So this is not an accounting trick, but it will work for a business user. Very, very useful. Now, let me show you where I got the idea. This is from Barrett, and I'm going to link to his blog post down below. And he has a very cool way to do it. Very clever, actually. So what I'm going to do is not exactly what he did, because in my example, I have time in the x-axis and I want to be able to, you know, uh, filter or, or slice and that is by the axis and still keep the mean and max value. So he, as he says on his blog post, the, the DAX will change depending on what you're trying to do. So I'm going to show you a different version. Then you can go and check his version out. But the concept is the same. This is what we're going to do. I am going to put date column. This is the Northwind data set, right? So nothing we are there. Sales. And what we need to do in order to do that trick is we need to have a column that plots only the last value, the max value. So how do we do that? How about we start creating that? So we're going to do max value. So we're going to do calculate the max. And because we have time, we're going to do, we have like months on there. We want to do it on the date calendar. And then I want this to be dynamically. So I want you, when you decrease or increase the dates in your calendar on a slicer, to, to be able to adjust for that. So I Barrett uses all. I need to use all select in here for it to work. So calendar date. I'm going to show you what it does. So this will go and pick the mass max value. Do you see here? Here is uh 1998 6th of may and if i go in there and i change this you see that it goes and changes accordingly so that's why we're using all selected so whatever interval that you have whatever the dates you selected pick the max and this is what this thing is actually doing easy right so max value and now what we want to do is like this. We're going to put this into a variable. Max date. I don't know if max date is BC. Probably not. Return. I always spell that wrong. Return. If the max of the calendar. So if the calendar date, the max date, is the same as the max date that we have up there, so that means if we are in the date that is the max of the period selected, then, sorry, then give me the sales. Nothing more. And what this is going to do is for the max value is going to sell, to return the actual sales value and the rest is going to leave it blank. Good, right? Okay, so what do we do with that? And this is super clever. Let me show you. What he did is he used a clustered column chart. And then he put, this I'm going to leave so you can see what's going on. You can put the date and then you put the sales on the values, so the line values, right? Come on, go there. Sales, okay, so now we have our sales thing. 
something like that. This is by date. It's a, now. And what we're going to do now on the column values, we're going to put our max value. Put it there. And do you see it there, the blue thing? Well, we don't want the bar to be seen. So we're going to go to data colors and paint it. It would be great, it would be transparent, but there's no such thing. So it will be, it will be white. And we're going to turn the data levels on, but we're going here to customize series and we're going to turn on max value, but we're going to turn off sales. So only max value is going to be seen. Do you see it down there? Ah, there you go. You see? And now you can also go the other direction and pick the mean value. Now be mindful that if the data you pick, there is no value, it won't show anything. So, okay, you see? That is adjusting accordingly. So. If you want to know more about all select, I have a video there. Go and check it out. Otherwise, I will see you on Monday. Have a great weekend and bye-bye. Uh,